pretty much every day for about the last six years, I have carried a handgun on my belt right here at the one o'clock position, also called appendix inside the waistband carry or AIWB. There's been a lot of controversy about this method of concealed carry, and that's because it's been really misunderstood both by its critics and by a lot of the people who choose to carry this way. Appendix carry is nothing new. It's actually been around for centuries, but it's gained popularity in recent years, which I believe has a lot to do with the influence of the firearms instructor Todd Green. Todd actually passed away last month after a long fight with cancer, and unfortunately I never actually got to meet Todd in person or take any of his classes before he stopped teaching. But even so, he's the one guy who probably more than anybody else has had the most influence on my development as a shooter, and not just the way that I carry a gun, but my whole approach to thinking about self-defense in general. And that's because Todd shared a lot of his thoughts on his blog, PistolTraining.com, and also on the forum that he started, PistolForum.com. So I first gave Appendix Carry a serious try after reading about it on Todd's blog several years ago. And since then, I've had a lot of opportunity to experiment with different techniques and gear, and I've also been able to pick up some tips here and there from other instructors who carry Appendix. So there's a lot more to this than I can share in just one video, but I want to give you a quick overview of appendix carry and maybe confront some of the more common criticisms. First, I want to talk about why anyone would want to carry a gun this way. There are a lot of advantages to appendix carry. The one you hear most often is that it has the potential to allow for a very quick draw stroke from concealment. This is especially true if you're sitting down or in an awkward position or in very tight quarters where you can't move around much. The gun is just easier and quicker to access than a gun behind your hip. It's also easier to protect the gun if someone were to try and make a grab for it, and it's easier to sort of surreptitiously access the gun without drawing a whole lot of attention to yourself if you need to do that. A lot of people find appendix carry to be really uncomfortable, and I can't really argue with that, but that's by no means a universal experience. I actually think it's more comfortable because I don't have a gun pressing against my hip bone all day. I can tolerate it for a lot longer compared to any other kind of belt carry. But for me, the most compelling reason to switch to appendix carry was just ease of concealment. With behind the hip carry, I just could not find a way to conceal a gun unless it was very small or if I was wearing a jacket or some really baggy clothing. But with appendix carry, if I've got the right holster, I can carry a gun of just about any size and I don't have to wear a double XL poncho to cover it up. That's not to say I always wanna deal with the weight of a full size pistol, but with appendix carry, I can be a lot more flexible with the size of gun that I'm carrying. Usually when somebody says they've tried appendix carry and then they immediately decide they don't like it, it's because they're using the wrong kind of holster. That's almost guaranteed to not work. You have to use a holster that's specifically designed for appendix carry. And I don't just mean an inside the waistband holster with a neutral cant. You've got to get a holster with some really specific design features like pushing the muzzle away from the body and getting the grip tucked in toward the body. Those features are really important for both comfort and concealment. If you're looking for some specific suggestions, I would say skip all the cheap stuff and go straight for the really good custom holster makers. It'll actually end up being cheaper in the long run. So try Keeper's Concealment or JM Custom Kydex. They both make some excellent appendix carry holsters. You could also try Custom Carry Concepts or Dark Star Gear or Raven Concealment. There really are a lot of good options these days. Just make sure you do your homework first and whatever holster you try comes from a holster maker who understands what has to go into a good appendix carry design. The other big criticism of appendix carry is that it's inherently unsafe because there's no way to reholster the gun without pointing it at yourself. Well, that's only true if you do it wrong and concealed carry in general, no matter how you're carrying, is inherently dangerous if it's done incorrectly. For instance, I know we've all seen this guy before, someone pointing the gun right at his side while he's trying to get the muzzle to go into his behind the hip holster. I see that at the range all the time, but I never hear anybody say, we gotta get rid of this behind the hip carry because it's inherently dangerous. No, what we say instead is that guy's doing it wrong. Someone needs to show him how to reholster properly so he doesn't hurt himself. Well, it's the same thing with appendix carry. There are a few things we can do to make sure that we reholster the gun safely. So what I like to do when I'm done shooting is 
first I bring the gun back to a high ready and then I just pause for just a split second. Uh, sometimes this is called a hard break, but I'm gonna make sure my finger is off the trigger. I'm gonna make sure that uh, if I've got a double action gun that I'm decocked and I'll put my thumb on the hammer. And if I've got a safety, I'll make sure that's flipped on at this point also. And now I'm gonna move my cover garment and then I'm gonna lean back just a little bit and tilt my hips forward a little bit. And I'm gonna slowly and very intentionally look the gun into the holster, make sure there's no obstructions in the way. And then as soon as the muzzle clears the mouth of the holster, I'll tilt it outward just a little bit and slowly into the holster. Now all that takes about two seconds and at no point was the muzzle covering any part of my body. I don't think you're any more likely to shoot yourself with appendix carry than with any other kind of holster, but it's got the perception of being less safe because if you do make a mistake, it's gonna involve your gentleman area or maybe your femoral artery, and that can be fatal really quickly. So that's why having a very intentional reholstering technique is so important. If the idea of appendix carry makes you nervous, then don't do it. I have never tried to convince anybody to carry appendix and I never will. It's not for everybody and it's definitely not for more casual gun owners. But if you do want to give it a try, then just make sure you use a good holster and don't get into a hurry when you're reholstering.